How and where do we deliver adjustments? Before deaf, disabled and neurodivergent people join us, we ensure adjustments, access and funding are set up. Funding may be from access to work, our own budgets or third party funds. We are open to doing things differently. Remote working, flexible hours, job shares. Our emphasis is on outcomes, not processes. And we provide multiple options or ways of doing things at every stage. Whether it's recruitment, onboarding, training, appraisals, announcements, wrap parties or networking events. Not forgetting backup plans if anything falls through. An access link on the team is a trusted person for questions, concerns or observations. And trained access coordinators assess needs, oversee plans and help ensure best practice is consistently followed. Flexibility and adjustments are not just a legal requirement. They are key for inclusivity and creativity. What is being an advocate? We start with making our expectations clear and keeping our standards high for everyone. We do not tolerate inappropriate behaviour, language or attitudes. We challenge assumptions, ignorance and ableism. We are advocates and allies for our talented, experienced and passionate deaf, disabled and neurodivergent colleagues. This means actively supporting long-term career progression because we know the need to see more disabled people in senior roles. We work with people not in spite of them being disabled, but because we recognise everything which that lived experience brings. And we celebrate what disabled talent offers to our teams and our industry. How do we anticipate working with disabled people on a regular basis? Well, we're proactive about meeting, hiring, including and progressing deaf, disabled and neurodivergent talent. Did you know accessibility comes in multiple forms? Physical spaces, ways to communicate, tech and equipment, and working practices. We do. So, to anticipate this, we seek training and expert advice. We also keep updated with best practices and legal frameworks, such as the Equality Act 2010. Putting funding and support in place, like access to work, helps keep our budgets and schedules prepared for including disabled talent. Time or money should never exclude talent here. How do we ask the right questions to help everyone behind and in front of the camera? When we are hiring and casting, we only focus on skills, knowledge and experience, not on conditions or impairments. We invite everyone who joins the team to discuss any adjustment needs they may have to fulfil the role. We let the deaf, disabled or neurodivergent person own that conversation and never share any information about them without consent. 
Access Passports can support those conversations and can travel with us to ensure consistent support at work. We know requirements, preferences and feelings can fluctuate for all of us, so we regularly check in with everyone to ensure that support is still fit for purpose. Inclusion is always on the agenda at key meetings. We never assume, we always ask. How do we assess our accessibility? We start with transparency. Our website, job adverts and corporate material communicate our access statements so everyone can assess how inclusive we are, without needing to ask. These access statements cover our physical environments, communication methods, working patterns and practices, and levels of disability knowledge and understanding. Also, we value self-reflection, so your feedback helps us identify barriers and improve welfare and inclusion. Regularly evaluating and improving our access helps us all perform at our best. 